Hello there, welcome to the Pit of Tangents. We're gonna start a new adventure with Disco Elysium. I've heard so many good things about this game, but I know very little about it at the same time. I know that this is very dialogue heavy, text heavy, and I know that it involves a post apocalyptic civilization of some sort, I think. Something to do with Nova Roach. No, I, I'm not even gonna guess the name. <laughs> and we're gonna play as a detective, that's as far as I know. It's trying to solve a murder crime. I'm probably gonna be way off in this assumption, but we're just gonna see. In any case, let's just start the game. Look at the, the art, by the way. It looks so beautiful, don't you think? You can definitely already sense that there's a vibe to this game. So, I <laughs> guess we'll see. Oh, oh. Select archetype. Um. Okay. I didn't expect that we're gonna have some stats going on. Thinker, extremely intelligent, very bad with people, knows interesting facts, comes up with original ideas. Sensitive, very psychological, a, a magnetic personality, but unstable, might begin to lose his mind. That might sound like me. <laughs> physical, extremely physical, interacts with the world through his body, gets things done, but dumb as a rock. Yeah, that doesn't sound like me. Um... So in this case, the physique is... Oh, I have very low motivation. I think that's... Oh, motor skills. Sorry about that. And here we have... Good motor skills. Physique. We have good physique. If we are sensitive. This is psyche. Your power to influence yourself and others. Intelligence. Your capacity to reason. Let's go with sensitive. Let's go with sensitive, shall we? Yeah. I like being a charismatic person. Comes with the territory of being a YouTuber, I guess. Although that's probably just me projecting myself. And I didn't read the quote just now, to apologize. Begin. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Ooh. Your conscious ferments in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Hmm. Okay. Ever. Okay. Brilliant voice acting. Never, ever. Never, ever, ever? <laughs> Give an audience a matter of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex wives are contained within it. An inordinate amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex wives are contained within it. What was about the X something? Give me some more. You got it, sweet brother. Nothing upon nothing <laughs> upon nothing. I want to cover up some more of that sweet oblivion. <laughs> Coming right up, sir. Smooth, Smooth passage. I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. Eh, uh, I'll see, let's go. Alright, nothing town to fuck all, Barra. Sounds very, very abysmal. <laughs> Return straight to the silence, please. Let's visit the ancient zero home. Look, there's I am tired of being the type of man who gives a shit. Nah, I don't think I'm that blase. Let's visit to the ancient zero home. Great choice, Elder One. <laughs> it has always been like this, and it always will. Don't stop, keep singing, sing me the song of death. The song of death is sweet and endless. But what is this? Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meet around you. A sensation. Ooh. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert, hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. <laughs> Damn. Sorry, 
Oh my god. You can take it. You're a champion. Volition. Medium success. Okay. Mother, help me. There's a head attached to my neck and I'm in it. Stop. I don't want to hear anything more about this sensation. Take me back to the formless disembodied nothing. I wouldn't say mother. I wouldn't say stop either. I am a champion. Is there a fourth option? Okay, fine. The stench of liquor rises from your mouth. Olympic I system. Know with it. An ungodly headache. Some might say, is that hangover? <laughs> it's trying to murder the rest of me. Who am I? What sort of creature does this to their own mouth? Okay, I'm a bit scared. Now let's go back to the dark. <laughs> Are we coming to life? Is this what's happening? Who am I? A fiery streak penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound, a clarion call from hell. Let's open our eyes. Oof. <laughs> Rough night. Ooh. Been there, done that. Ah. So how do I walk around? Okay. Good old wazd. See the bottle? His magnum-sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. Okay. What happened here? Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. I'll tap to highlight. Highlight what? Okay, that's my shoe. My left foot. What happened here? This real to real tape player is still on, rolling empty. Can I turn it off? Pants. Take all. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. Fish them out. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Okay, good to know. Get the key. Let's put on our clothes. Probably should put on our shirt first. Okay, hell, Esprit de Corps. Wait, what is happening? Alright, um. Esprit de Corps, connect the station. Well, that's not. Fiddle too many things just yet. Oop, we need our tie. Oop, grab this it. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. Okay. A truly horrific necktie has somehow <laughs> attached itself to one of the blades. I see. Or has it been consigned there as punishment? You feel as though this creature is your friend and wants to reattach itself to your neck so that you may continue your adventures together in this strange world. Um. I, I want to know what this is. What the fuck's this? You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. Nice. Warning. Warning. The necktie is, is no, no longer, longer contained. <laughs> what you have in your hand is a fantastically colorful tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. Well, all right, let's pull on the light bulb. A terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. Oof. Sorry it's about that. just a little hangover-induced photosensitivity. Don't overreact. Why medium? I can pull again to turn the light off. The it's okay. lights are off. Okay, cool. 
Let's leave. Hang in there, Bucko. There you go. Can we turn off the tap? No, that's very unenvironmentally friendly. That's not a word. Not environmentally friendly. We see bottles. What was that? You see bottles. Okay. Anything else? Look at the mirror and hate yourself for it. The mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, <laughs> he starts on masculine half to force it off. Ah. Uh. Hot water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. man. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Let's wipe the mirror. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Yes. Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there, and you will never unbecome it. Hmm. Okay. Inland Empire. What is happening with my face anyway? I, uh, oh, okay, I'm still familiarizing myself with the game mechanics here. It's quite interesting. Uh, let's go with I don't care or touch it first. If, if it is if it's just a choice, it implies that I might feel something at the moment. Yeah, there is definitely something wrong with it. E what? What's wrong? Where to even begin? There is a bloatedness. Then the swollenness. Eh. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's your nose. <laughs> and as my tongue is okay. Uh, I'm not sure about that, Chief. I'm sorry. Bet you are. At the blade. Your nose feels like a small <laughs> balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it. It doesn't appear to be a particularly tiny nose either. Not with all the drinks it's absorbed for you. All right, wipe the mirror now. Hello. I ain't so bad. <laughs> My face <laughs> in the corner. Behold. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? It's, um... This is the face of a late stage alcoholic. Clearly. Yep. You clearly have rigor mortis on your face. Oh wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? I have no idea why it's there. It's just is. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. Nah. No. No. <laughs> It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face, and now it won't come off. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? A superstardom. Nah. God, I don't know. It's indescribable. I think it's supposed to... Am I trying to be manic here by saying, oh, it's superstardom? <laughs> I think it's supposed to look... To look... <laughs> I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. <laughs> I'm assuming that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off too in a sad has been kind of way. There is some charm to it. Let's go with this. It's for the ladies. Please promise yourself you are not going to try and hold <laughs> the ladies. Whatever happens. I promise. You liar. <laughs> you can't even tell the truth to yourself. Go ahead. Try something. Um Very low, very low. Both are low. Let's go. Like the rest of you, it comes from a bad place somewhere in the past. That's all you know for now. Okay, let the mirror be for now. Ta ta. Et doble. What have we here?
We have key. Equip. Okay, it's not for that, as it would seem. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Anything else? My boy. Let's head on out. Is there water? No water. Can I grab this bottle? No? Okay, I guess there's no other option than to get out. And we're fine. Huzzah. Well, hello, milady. Hello, officer. <laughs> okay, let's talk. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Officer, am I a military personnel? Uh, no. <laughs> There's only one solution to this. You're a businessman. Nah. Then why did you call me an because officer? You're a police officer, sir. You're shitting me. I'm not. Unless you've been shitting us all this time. All this time? You've been here for three days on official police business, no less. And what business is that? Couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly, mostly drinking. drinking. So I'm that kind of cop, eh? <laughs> Couldn't say in truth. Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Who in the right mind would let me be an officer of the law? No, let's not try the expression. Let her know you want her physically. Ugh. Don't be so harsh on yourself. They let almost anyone be a police officer. Aw. Thanks, Classy. A Classy? Hey? Don't let it stand. Assert yourself. Better let it go. Say nothing. Retreat is not a winning tactic. Oh, come on. Why did I remember Could being it be a cop? Because of the drinking? Hmm. Could be. Yeah, let's get of going. Of course. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. See you around. She looks back at you, a light glinting. Off her eyes. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. See you around. And tap. Nice long stop in the ashtray. Still smoking. Huh. Eager to end the conversation, I guess. The year is 51. 2051, probably. So, or 2151. Who knows? This is the weekend of the satirical newspaper, Trompe le Monde. Can I read it? No? Very well. Shall we try out the other door? You should pick that fat, juicy cigarette butt from the tray. Light it up and smoke <laughs> the living shit out of it. The what now? <laughs> Am I a smoker? Who knows what you are? A monster, a murderer, the gnome of Jeroma. You feel like a smoker, especially when you look at that juicy, succulent, seductive cigarette stub still smoldering deliciously. I mean, I wouldn't mind, technically. Why is there no option to say that I would love to How do it? very astute of you. This renders it ineffectual. You should look for a Whole, whole cigarette, cigarette or better yet an entire pack <laughs> strike that a carton make sure they're all healthy and able-bodied then smoke them all i can see why i don't really have all of my faculties with me but i think it makes for more interesting dialogues i wonder how it would differ if say i chose the intelligent archetype the idea seems to make your neck expand Suddenly, the garish tie feels very snug. Hmm. Or you could not 
do that. No one is making you. Well, I'll think about it. Good. Thinking about yummy, yummy cigarettes, cigarettes in your mouth <laughs> is the next best thing. Make sure you think about juicy sticks of tobacco all the time, <laughs> though. It doesn't count if it's not all the time. Whatever, man. And when you're done thinking about them, graduate to getting them. Sure. Plus, smoking them gives massive bonuses. Is that so? You need to get your hands... Okay, this is a journal. You need to get your hands on some cigarettes and then smoke them for those massive bonuses. Find a pack, put it in your hand. Equip it in the health slot in your inventory and then smokes... The smokes will do the rest. I mean, hey, if you're hang hungover, honestly, smoking isn't, isn't such a bad idea. If anything, it's actually quite relieving to some extent. Let's go. Damn, that was cool. Oh, that's a very quick loading screen. And who might this be? This is the other main character, I think. Could be my partner, who knows? Summer door closed for the winter. This is where the lyrics would be. A big old karaoke mic just waiting for someone to sing to it. <clears throat> what the fuck are they doing? A mirror? A speaker. That's a huge speaker. Right next to the people at the bar. That's not really good, I have to say. You should totally sing karaoke. <laughs> the first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People, people need, need to know, know their vast oceanic, oceanic soul. My soul is immense. My soul is modest. It's normal size. <laughs> My soul's cubic content is obscured by the hangover. Of course. <laughs> At this point, precise measurements of your soul can only be performed from the outside. It needs to be heard. Nah, it's I'm good. System. No. By other people. No. Whether they like it or not. Ram it up their ears, says your adrenaline gland. Violently express yourself. Jesus. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> oh. Can you, can you imagine like having all of these voices inside your head all the time? It would be very frustrating actually, it's not a laughing matter. Is, there's a reason why it's a, an actual disease. Soft pair of an electric juicer comes from the kitchen, someone is working. Yeah, there will be this person. This is a water cooler, a large bubble is rising to the surface. The menu has been wiped clean, only the word Monday is written on it. And what the hell is this? No suffered health, sure, why not? Sup? A man in his late twenties stands behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. A stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. Hmm. That was disdain in his eyes. Even now he's purposely ignoring you. Something tells me you don't like me. Look at the stuff, stuff bird. Let's, let's do that. Let's not word be of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird confrontational. Among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Hmm. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it. Most likely on a wall. God forbid it was me. Something about it makes you feel bitter. Um, let's choose what happened to the bird. Can I help you with that? Look, your buddy is over there. He looks at the doors where a man in a bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? What do you mean, my buddy? He pretends not to hear you. Concentrating on the bird instead. Now let's leave. Let him s look at him strutting his thingy bobber. Thingy I'm a bobber. Door is bolted. The sign reads Kitchen reserved for personnel until 1 pm. 
Sorry, Mass Hall reserved for Union members. Doors open 4 p.m. Union members, you say? Fascinating. Excuse me, madam. This royal pinball machine is unplugged. Hello, sweetie. Aw. Lena, the cryptozoologist's wife. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. <laughs> okay, okay. Just let me scour the area just one more time. Just real quickly now. Nothing? Oh, hello. You good? Bottle of rum has been knocked over. Beautiful. Dark liquid is spilling out. Alright, let's talk to this guy. A bespeckled man in an orange Kim Kitsuragi. Object is tapping his foot on the floor. <coughs> Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. If an assault were launched on this building right now, if the windows came crashing down and the whole world descended upon you, this man would hurl himself in death's way to save you. You are wow. sure of this, but why? Shake his hand. Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Prison 57. You must be from the 41st. Hmm. So this is the first time that we met him. You realize he's waiting for your name. Ooh, do we get to name this ourselves? This is your chance to come up with a really good name for yourself. Get creative. Conceptualize. Let's go. Raphael Ambrosius Gusto. Ah, I'm not like a douche if I call myself Raphael Ambrosio Gusto. Ooh. It's very, very cool, but maybe it is a bit too ostentatious. <laughs> you instinctively run your hand over the multi patterned silk of your tie. Its slickness gives you comfort and reassurance. Okay. Don't worry. Raphael Ambrosius Custeau is one classy name for one classy cop. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm Raphael then. Yes. Well. Okay. It looks like we had a little skidding error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? Uh, if you huh? don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? I love how they're like keeping us in suspense like not dive not like um divulging the uh what's actually happening and they do that by making the officer hangover so that we can kind of sort of justify why we are not in the know as to what's happening it also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here in full force i mean have you mapped out the initial interviews Yes, the police. I'm where I'm a policeman. What interviews? At the 57th, we like to prepare an initial list of persons of interest and then just skim the surface. Hmm. Prepare the field, get to know the players. You don't do that? Maybe it's not an inter-district practice. Well, I haven't then. Okay, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Hmm, coroner. So there is someone who died. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Uh, let's just be honest, honest, and just say no. So, the body. This is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. It is obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the tree. Would you know for crime scene? Yeah. Yeah. Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Okay. <laughs> are we a police officer? <laughs> are we? 
Well, the, the woman told us that we are. We claim that we are. Are we? Are we? Are, is this going to be like a huge subversion this whole time? That turns out we are not. <clears throat> I can't remember anything. Let's get going then. Oh, this is like showing my character anyway. If I were in this situation and then I don't remember anything, and now this, there's this person who's assuming a lot out of me, a lot of responsibilities as well regarding a certain dead body in this case, I would like, like chime in, like see where it goes probably at first, but now it reached a point where I'm like, uh, okay, okay, hang on, hang on a minute. I can't remember anything. I can see you drank last night and the night before, and that you are still drunk now. But I have seen officers go through worse, much worse. Okay, that's quite reassuring. If you need something for your headache, there is a general store nearby. But as I said, the dead body should be our number one concern. Okay. A painkiller would be good about now. This thing is pulsating with discomforts. Hmm. The best cure for a headache is, of course, morphine. They won't have that. So cigarettes will have to do. All right, let's get going then. After you, officer. After you, if officer. If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? Mm, okay. You mean you don't have a badge? Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I advise you to try to locate it as quickly as possible. But getting the body down should still take precedence. Okay. Lieutenant Kitsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by interacting with him. Okay. Auto save, thank you. What? That sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary-eyed with joy. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? An hour? Sweet lord, a whole hour. And you haven't thought about rum and lemonade in all that time? You've truly extinguished all trace of yourself. Mm, maybe later. Maybe later. What is this? Casual Friday. Oh, come on. Fuck What's you, man. What's lackadaisical laxman attitude? You used to be passionate about getting your drink on. Um, not Show right now. You're still young. Show me you have the fire in you. Lick that stain off the counter right now i don't want to lick it what happened man you used to be cool go get your boring normal person drink then yeah, fuck off well with those cigarettes that's a great combination they do they do go well with one another but right now i'm way hungover and i don't think adding more alcohol would help plus there's a dead body that i need to get to jesus No, not here. Okay. So where do I get the dead body? What is this anyway? One health. Morale. I have zero charges of morale. Let's talk to him then. The man with the unimpressive beard notices you approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. Mr. Gart, right? Gart. You run this place. Yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Precinct 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Precinct 41? Ah, uh, the harbinger of... <laughs> Can I have a drink? <laughs> I'm currently in between names. Okay, I'm starting to see. Okay, I have options on whether I want to be boring and just do it properly. Which I'm inclined to because I'm just that much I'm just that that much of an agreeable person. Right. Now, I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene. It also took you a while to call us and report a dead body. It was you who placed the call, yes? 
No, okay. I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Hmm. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. You said cool. you just got here. From where? Are you a local? Mm -hmm. What? Of Martinez? No. I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. But right. But you know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. Hmm. I didn't imply that. Detective. Yes. I have everything. You? Hmm. No, I'm good. Let's ask yes, them. Yes, yes. He means, do you have questions for me? Like a police <laughs> officer would. Why did Sylvie go away? She went away because none of your business. Jesus. Extra fine. 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 <laughs> Oof, what? What sort of mayhem did I wreak upon this establishment? That would probably be something that I ask if I were hungover and I don't remember anything. It's always a terrible, terrible feeling, if you ask me. Yeah, where exactly is the body? this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. Hmm. And how do we That's get there, easy. then? See that door there? First you exit through that. Then, to your right, you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You can mm -hmm. get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. <laughs> Alright. He's a funny one, isn't Doesn't he? want you to feel guilty of making that hole. It's implied in his voice. Let's not actually validate. That? What's your problem with me? Let's ask who killed him. I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. I have another question turns then. the page in the little notebook he's been scribbling in. Alright, that's all. Let's go. Let's go. Plus 30 experience. Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. Ah. We're getting somewhere. No one is saying the multi pattern necktie you found tied to the ceiling fan can talk. No one. It must be merely imagination. But. Let's bail! Time to push the eject button! Sounds like a responsibility! You don't like those! <laughs> no, don't listen to him. It's madness. Just talk. These are foolish options. Starting to think that I should have chosen the intelligent archetype. Oh my god. Okay, I don't owe you shit. Oh, you don't owe me shit. Well, officer, you're right. You don't owe me shit. You, you owe, owe me, me money. money. <laughs> we do not need to assert ourselves here. We only need instructions from him. This is the proprietor, remember? Oh. Uh oh. Uh. Oof. Alright, calm down. What is this about? Yeah, let's go you with know, that. I get this all the time. Some hobo comes in here or some backpacking arsehole off the boat. The next day, when they can't make their fees, they get aggressive. I just never thought I'd be in this shit with a cop. Please, just give me the money. Alright, well, alright. I don't think he is! Arrest him! Did I just hear my tie speak to me twice? Alright. What do I owe this place for? Let's see. Three nights at a tariff of 20 real comes to 60 real. Then there's the window you annihilated. The hole in the window was the first thing I saw when I came to work. So don't try to tell me you didn't. That will be 40 real in damages. Another thing you've annihilated is half the bar. 
you won ah. a tab of 30 real. Actually, more, but we'll round it down to 30 for your hard work maintaining the stability and order of Revachol. Revachol, there you go. Plus 40 plus 30 equals 130 real. And yes, real is still money. Yeah, did I just hear my no tie speak to its that? No one is saying the tie can talk. That would be ludicrous. It's just that you should arrest him. It would be wiser. He wants to take your money. Just, just give him the money. Ah, uh, but it might be a funny comic relief, I guess. I'm not comfortable with this. The lieutenant looks at you tugging on your garish tie. He puts his hand on your shoulder. If you don't have the money, it's okay. None of us are in this for the wages. Then... That's come for. I haven't offered to pay because I don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> I have no... I have... What are these options? What are these options? What the hell am I supposed to do? What exactly is money? Brain damaged? Actually, I might be. Since I woke up, I have trouble remembering even the most basic concepts of reality. Money is what grown-up people use to pay for things. Things like this hostel room, or, or eight bottles of potent blend, and nine packs of royal extra. We use it for everything, really. But what if I don't have any? <laughs> There's a shuffle of nylon as Lieutenant Kitsuragi looks for something in the pockets of his orange bomber. What happens I'm sorry, now? But he has to pay. I can't let him stay here any longer if he doesn't. If he doesn't have the money by tonight, then. Then? Officer, maybe you are better off working this from home for now. You live in Jamrock, right? It's not that far away. Okay. I'll see what I can do. I'm sorry, I couldn't help more. You should take this up with your station. I have a shortwave radio in my car, okay? We have to get this investigation started now. I agree. Good luck. New task, pay for damages. <laughs> okay. Way, where is home? The address is coming up blank, and this place sure isn't it. I have but no idea. Been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. I don't know. Near? South, don't maybe? Really know, do you? I have only a vague blackened vague image. Blackened image doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. You can try. Okay. Run some addresses in your head when you get the time. Maybe a street or an apartment will appear. As we'll see. We we we're dancing around in the dance floor. Very coordinated. Very beautiful. We we we. <laughs> Alright, we need to go behind door on the west. So it's this one, right? No? Where is the door? Inspect victim's body, hanging in the backyard of the whirling in rest. This is a plenary infection, you just need to suppress the urge to throw up and approach it. Port, who made a call for it? Uh, pay for damages. Okay, cool. Can I talk to you again for Hello, for real sweetie. this time? Wait, who's sweetie? Who's sweetie? Why you are officer? I'm a sweetie. Look at me. You're a handsome man, officer, with your mustache and your chiseled jaw and Aww. that silly dimple on your chin. 
Thanks, I appreciate it. It's raining very heavily. I don't know if you could hear that. I don't think you you can due to the mic and all that. Thanks, I appreciate you must it. Forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained. I completely forgot to introduce myself. Myself. Lena. <laughs> I'm Lena. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. Glitter over the rims of her glasses as she looks up, smiling. This Lena is wacky enough for the Motley crew. Hire her on the spot. You seem to be in a chair. Why the fuck would you say that? How would you like to roll with me? All right. Uh, I'm Lena Hazen, more or less. I don't know. Frank Gary just down the street. But I come in for tea in her way. Does sweeties get money? <laughs> Um, uh, how much is it? Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't know where I am or what I'm doing or anything. We've got to get course, going. Dear. Good luck with your case. She gives a small wave. Bye bye. Yeah. All right. Tell me about the what case. Do you want to know? If you're from different precincts, why are we in the same case? I'm That's a good question, actually. Ah. Uh... His disdain is clear. This man would not use such an expression otherwise. What do you mean? I don't know. I assumed you were in on it. You know what I'm in on. Retrograde amnesia. Than an imbecilic cup of. Tell me about it. It's just stupidity. We shouldn't waste any more time on it. If you want my take, ask me after we've inspected the victim. Let it go. Was there anything else you wanted to know about the case? Literally you anything. Tell me what you do know to help me narrow it down a bit. I know literally nothing about it. Do you want me to brief you? Brief? Yes, that sounds good. Three days ago, the RCM emergencies desk received a report about a security guard who was found hanged in Martinez. Okay, security guard is the victim. The caller said there was a dead body behind the whirling in rags hostel cafeteria. Hmm. The cadaver had been there for four days. No one had come to investigate. During that time, the victim had been stripped of his belongings. The caller did not identify him, but used the word lynching. There is an ongoing labor dispute between the local dock workers and the logistics company Wild Pines. I was told we should approach the death as part of this dispute. Hmm. Uh, why didn't we know anything about the caller? They didn't identify themselves in any way. The tone was muffled using a device of some sort. Hmm. The desk could identify neither the caller's age nor sex. Why hide themselves? It could be involved, no? Involving the RCM in what's seen as union matters. The dock workers' union is the de facto police in Martinez. Now it appears okay. they've started executing too. We cannot allow that. Hmm. Hold on, and the RCM That's is? The, the Reva Show. I see. We're the police in this city. Of course, yes, I understand everything now. We are police officers. It's our job to find the killer. That's the case. Uncover and arrest the killer. Okay. Can we go over the political? We already have that. That's the case. I have everything I need now. Nothing. So we need to get back on the back of the cafeteria. Why can't we get in? Can we get up? Yeah, we can actually run. That's good. There you go. Sure, money, equip a plastic bag. Okay, never mind. What have we here? A heap of snow melts in this wheelbarrow. Tristan says, fuck the police. 
Pigs go home. Street name is illegible. Sucks to this person, then. Sup? The RCM in Martinez. What can I help you with? I have some of questions course. for you. What can I help you with? We need of directions. Course. Where to? Why would she ask all of this? I'm looking for a dead body. Oh, that. That's right there. In the yard. In the yard. She's oh. relieved. Someone has come for it. Finally. What is in the, the east? Gate? Some kind of commotion, I think. I don't follow the local politics. A fleet store, too. Hmm. What is south? Shops and a bridge. The canal bridge leads to the coast, but it's broken, I think. Some kind of accident, probably. Hmm. Just coast. There's a little fishing village there and a fish market, but that got closed down ages ago. I see. Rows of stalls under a broad roof where silvery fish were heaped on newspapers. Water, water everywhere, pouring from the heavens in the shadow of the old church. What kind of fish market is this? I don't know. The abandoned kind? It used to gather every spring, but there's nothing to do there now. Just drug addicts. Hmm. Okay, what's in the west? Water. No, actually, I think they call it the Martinez Inlet. There are some islands in the bay, but they're hard to reach. In okay. the west is the miracle. Whatever you say, Inland Empire. What is up in the north? The, pier, the Cape Side apartment buildings, some more tenements. Not a lot, really. Okay. That's all for now. Problem. Where are you? I am just a gardener. Cool. And what are you I'm doing here? Working, working I have on a what? Greenhouse in the yard there. I've been trying to get some work done. There's okay. discomfort. She stops mid sentence. Go oh, on. It's you okay. Already know, there's a corpse there. Hanging from a tree. It smells pretty bad, so I have to take breaks. I see. I'll Don't take care worry, of it. Miss. We are here to clean it up. You can get to work soon. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My head is about to explode from all the salts I've had to inhale. Damn. That bad, huh? Of course. I won't hold you back. Oof. She wipes her brow with a canary yellow glove. Her gloves. You get the feeling that you need them. You have a dead body to deal with after all. Can I borrow sure. your gloves? Keep them. Nice. I have another pair. Cool. She hands you the rubber gloves with no visible annoyance. Fantastic. All around you, rain falls on the great city of Rivershaw. Rivershaw. from the eaves and floods the gutters. Washing the filth away. Hmm. The spring thaw must be here. The snow is melting. What am I doing? <laughs> Looking up at the sky, cold water dripping from your hair. What do great I see? Sky like great battleships, clouds colliding what? with one another. Rain falls down on the world. <laughs> How does it feel? Your shirt sticks to your chest. The shoulders of your disco blazer grow heavy. The cold finds its way in under your skin. You shiver, and the city shivers with you. Motherfucker. <laughs> Let's try one. Cape what is in the north? Apartments. Tower blocks crowd one another. 4.46 millimeter bullets still lodged in their war torn stone walls. Hmm. Hallways collapse from the mortar hits of a war that was lost long ago. Clothes lines go to waste in the rain. Radios play. A yard. Rain falls onto the roof of a woodshed. Coal leaks into a puddle beneath a dead man's feet. He swings from a tree, bloated. Droplets of rain slip from his cold cheeks. 
Let's try one more. What's in the west? Sheets of rain over the water. A flight of stairs leading into the ocean. Wave after wave washing the coast of Mar the ruins of a half sunken sea fort crumble on an inlet beyond the Bay of Revachol. Ghosts Ghost rise, rise into, into the, the sky. sky. Your hair is an oily mess flecked I wanna, with I the see what's the east. of the industrial harbour are locked. A chill runs down your back. You shudder like an animal trying to shake water from its hide. Shake your you shoulders again. Looking down at your feet. Dirty rainwater runs veins into the plaza snow. You realize you still have only one shoe. Oh my god, yes, you're right. Of the whirling rags hostel cafeteria. A single crocodile skin shoe now fills with rainwater. Nearby on the balcony of the whirling in rags hostel cafeteria. A single crocodile skin shoe now fills with rain. From the corner of his eye, the lieutenant gives your feet a worried glance. Rain drips from <laughs> his glasses. Should probably do something the about this. Nods, then looks east. What is there? Behind the gates, heaps of supply crates, red and blue metal shipping containers, slick with rain. The Greater Revachol Industrial Harbor is an artificial mountain range. Immense wealth resides within, and immeasurable poverty in its shadow. This shadow. Hmm. And beyond the that. GCN, King Dri's Passenger Harbor. Cruise ships flanked by dock arms. Cranes watching over the mouth of the river distributary. <laughs> Kuron, the lower middle class. Distributary after distributary cuts the city blocks in half. Seven story buildings trail off into the rain. Can I can I just skip A this? Uh, okay, of rain all right, cool. Over the houses, the class divide. What's below? Collapsed storm drains, old mm. sewage systems. This rain fucker. will not let up anytime soon. You should get a raincoat. There's a freight to the east. They sell them there. So we need to get inside first, get our shoes. No, wait, we need to get upstairs first. Something on the table. Why not? This should be the balcony. Now we grab a shoe. A gust of briny wind washes over you. There they both are. Two identical shoes. Both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin. Reunited on your feet. A refit? Good. They're balanced. Comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now, truth be told. Nice. Healed morale. <laughs> Smell of the sea makes you dizzy. Just stomach it in. You'll be fine. What's this? Let's rewind. Let's trace your drunken steps back home. Jump across the raised channel, bridge southwest of here. Fall over. Get up. Get off the asphalt in 20 minutes. Shuffle your feet through courtyards. Scaring little children. <laughs> Go under the great raised motor track. The age 81 until you reach the Le Domain Eminence in North Chambra. The streets are. We need to drag this room? The streets are frozen this time of year, caked with ice. 
walked on main to perdition. There's a side alley there and your footprints in the mud. Internalize. Oh, we can choose from all of this, really. How about, wait, homosexual? What? What was that? I saw that. Where was that? Homosexual. There you go. Hello. <laughs> Get out again. Now that we have our shoe. There are bottles inside. You could pick them up if you had a bag. Just check the body. Hmm, because time keeps, the clock keeps ticking. The letter R wears a crown, the ribbon below, a light above, descending. You there, boy! Stop! In the name of the law! It smells like spoiled meat and curdled dairy. Yeah, kinda! Fuck him up! <laughs> Sorry. Kuno's got this! Napa Kimpi. Sounds like a swear word. What is it? Oh yeah, hell yeah, motherfucker or something. Hey kid, a word. Police business. Right in the dick, Kuno. Get him right in the dick. It's loving in the dick. Fuck. <laughs> oh. 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 Jesus Christ, children. The boy is sweating profusely. His eyes are like two black holes and his jaw is twitching as if trying to break free from the empire of his body. <laughs> Hold on, what does that mean? It means emotional suppression. Been there done that, probably. The kid is obviously high. <laughs> Stop using slur. Stop getting high in my crime scene. Kuno, yeah, right in the mouth they Jesus. Or, heed or pretend not to notice you. Shits himself. Well, it, it's censored. Jesus. Kuno? You should throw the rake at him, Kuno. The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno is not a gardener. <coughs> I don't have time for this. We yeah, what should we do? shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. What forces? You will see. You will see. That's quite ominous. <laughs> Kid, you want to hang out? I'm not a narc. Fuck no. Kuno doesn't buy that shit. Fucking entrapment shit. <coughs> Look, I have right. questions for you. Entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. Jesus, he's, he is high as a kite, isn't he? He's Kuno. We know what his name is. Shitload pig. What's your question? Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno. Uh, He's choking! He's totally choking! Oh, fuck Don't off him. Mulkapa doesn't know any questions! <laughs> I gotta ask, who's Kuno? Kuno? Kuno, pig! Look at this video! What the fuck? Kuno. Primal. Violent. Kuno sounds like something you'd call a rabid dog. Yeah, think about it. Think about that rabid Kuno shit. He seems glad someone understood what he was going for. But <laughs> right as he's getting distracted, you hear a malevolent hiss from behind the fence. 
Empathy. I think this is a new emotion. The thing behind the fence starts squealing, shrill, and violent like a fire alarm. Help! Pig's got Kuno! Help! Rape! Jesus. Help! He's got the Kuno! Help! Just answer help! the questions! He's digging his dick out! It's Jesus. Kuno! His dick is out! You're afraid! Pigs are there in Kuno! Somebody, please! Don't punch him, it's a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, that's my, Look, my car. I know you wanted to hit me. You got that, I'm gonna fuck that Kuno up look. That Kuno's dad gets. The murder look. The rage look. Yes, yeah, so how do I get back to it? I want to go back to the thought. said that. Here it is. Here we go. Kuno likes this. Yeah, I know, changed my mind again. You pussied out again. Shouldn't have done that. Kuno's gonna bitch you out now. Kuno's gonna sublet you. Sublet you? What the fuck does that mean? Like candy, fat boy. Pass your fat ass around. King Kuno! The whole charade was about establishing dominance over you. You backing up means he's succeeded. Kuno turned you into his prison, bitch! You're gonna be in this shit with Kuno. No, you're not. We can just leave. Bitch, exactly. You're gonna be in this shit with Kuno forever. Leave. <sighs> Whatever, man. How is this? There are several footprints in the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from six to twelve pairs have walked here. Hmm. What do you think you are? Oh, fuck. A super detective? You're hungry. <laughs> These are just dents in the mud. No pattern emerges for the time being. Well, I tried. Heavy workers' boots with reinforced toes and hobnails all over the yard. Hmm. There are several footprints. We're getting some screenshots for the thumbnail. Let's try the other brat then. Should we? Kuno, the pig's getting pretty close to me. Come to snuff my shit out, I think. Looks like it's time for me to go, Kuno. Pigs come to take me in. <laughs> she means it. The fear is real. I just want to ask some questions. I'm going away for a long, long time, Kuno. Going away for life. What's Lol. going on there? Fuck are you trying to pull, pig? Child, converse with me. <laughs> hey, kid. This kid shit. Fucking mind games. I'd rather die than squeal. Oh, you're Get a the kid. Fuck out of here, face. You got done. Talk to me. Talk to me. I'm so close to beating the shit out of this kid, swear to god. I wouldn't climb it up if I were you. So this is the greenhouse. And what's this? This is winch mechanism has been oxidizing for some years. Okay. Got a tool kit over here. Money, nice. What's this? Magnesium. Oh yes, please. Tools. 
tools, items, clothes. Put that on. We drag it. Okay, we drag it and put it there. Gloves. Nice. An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material, Etonite. It's what is nice. this? Someone just left some roofing material slanted against an old shack. Hmm. Because it's nice and orderly, well laid pallets, easy on the eyes. Okay, now, never mind. There's more to this. You get this strange heart what feeling. It's gone now. Feelings pass, you see, especially the small ones. Skill points is the perception to open this white check. Okay. Oopsie. Leaf. Let's check the body. It's not that we get the gloves on. Might as well. We're losing daylight. So might as well. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. You seem to be holding your breath. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps mm. in even through your clenched nostrils. Let go of your nose without throwing up, my god. Why would I do that? Active decay. It's okay to throw up, officer. No one is judging. Hmm. This is very low, so might as well not. I'll give it a try. The smell is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth. More instant and more familiar than anything you'd expected. More fever than odor. It fills your mind. Flushing try to walk away. Oof, that's rough. Too late. It's impossible to keep in. Your body curls and pushes it out, burst by burst. Until Oof. a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from the stomach acid. You haven't had breakfast. We're hungover, so I guess that's fine. It's okay. sorry. Happens to everyone. Keep it. The Thanks. hangover is clearly making this worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. Mm, ammonia? Really? That young woman, the gardener, mentioned she used salts for the smell. If she mm. doesn't have any, there might be some in the Fried store nearby. Acquiring ammonia will provide a modifier to the white check. Modifiers make checks easier. And allow you to retry them. Okay. There he still is, looking right through you with his white eyes. The body below. Okay. Got the gloves, but I need ammonia, as it was seen. Hmm, can I just put it in? How do I use it then? Let's talk to the woman then. I'm cognizant with times. One an hour and 17 minutes. 
it's raining again. It was clear yeah. just an hour ago. Do you sell some of your salts? I think I could use some. Sure. I'm done with Nice. This. Go easy on that stuff. It gave me a terrible headache. All right. Put on this. Items. Let's put it on once we're close to the body. There he still is, looking right through you. With his white eyes, the body below is entirely dedicated to that corpse smell. Emitting it is all. Let's go. Crack open the ammonia ampoule. And nice. Breathe in. The odor of death is still stronger. It's a spell of the mind telling you to run, and your stomach to ring itself empty. With your eyes squinting, you stand in it. The man Step closer. You is naked but for a pair of underpants and enamel boots. His skin is greenish, marbled with decaying veins and blotched by lividity. A fading web of tattoos covers his chest and shoulders. The cargo belt used to fasten him to the branch above appears mm. industrial in strength. Yeah, that is crazy. The fact that they were able to do this with fucking belts. Cargo belts. All right, we'll inspect the body and call it a day afterwards. Hopefully there's going to be an autosave after that. The material appears to be ceramic. Its clean white stands in stark contrast to the decaying flesh above the knee. The man wore thick polymer socks, probably for padding. A fine array of interlocking plates covers them. Hmm. Delicate okay. and fragile. They feel alien to the world around you out of place somehow. There what are, are, are these? No hmm. Technically speaking, these are sabatons. They are sabatons. Ceramic okay, then what kind of armor? Zirconium dioxide, most likely. This is where the make would be. Where? Under the hill. Fair weather. Fair weather model T500VE. I'm guessing hmm. that's vitreous enamel. This is advanced stuff. <clears throat> it sure looks out of place here. It's expensive. The lieutenant draws a line at the condensation of the ceramic with We've index finger. We've similar material for our tactical units for years now. The constabularies deemed it too costly. In that time, we've lost six men to semi-automatics. Hmm. For a full set, about four years of wages. Four years! Damn, that's a lot, I take it. ka -ching, baby. Ka -ching, do you mean, let's not log them as evidence? Let's steal them? No. What was that about the constabulatory before? You need to push some buttons if you want to recruit the lieutenant in a conspiracy. No, oh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> How does, could this man afford us expensive hardware? Yeah, where's He's the rest? Let's start with that first. He's been out here for seven days. It would be odd if they didn't. True. Should keep a lookup for these pieces. The armor could yield mm. information. Maybe he'll know something. Yeah. If you wear those pieces, it will help me protect your mortal coil. Why does my mortal yes, coil need protecting? Bullets will fly. They always do. And the coil is fleshy and mush and permeable. Cast it in ceramic shell. Resist death. The sabotons dangle off the man's decaying form. Ageless and synthetic. How does the man force us expensive gear? My initial Hardware. report on the area suggests he was a security guard for the Harbour Company, but that's mm. just hearsay. 
This looks pretty advanced for a security guard. This equipment is way beyond what a guard can afford. Knock on the small bell-like sound fills the air, like tapping on the side of a porcelain cup. Suddenly, your biceps coil up. Your elbow is sharp and cocked for a punch. Hmm. It's any sounds time. fragile. This material is a kinetic redistributor. I will write punch it harder in a stump. Horizontally, from plate to plate, dissipating it entirely. See? Is he gonna punch it? Organic lines cover the plates where they separate into smaller ones. These plates then divide into smaller plates until there are hundreds of them altogether. Okay. Like the scales of some ancient white monster, cracked and pearly. Can I take the body down? Would that the be okay? The slowly twists on the cargo belt, his torso covered in tattoos and extremities blotched pink and blue. The I suspect the belt. is pulled tight by the weight of the corpse below. Yellow, hard-edged polyester cuts into his neck. Above, a sliding buckle ties the belt to the branch. Hmm. Oh my, there's something on the belt. A familiar word that speaks to the thirst within you. <sighs> well, with that word, the yellow letters along the length of the twisting cargo belt. Only a deep longing for vermilion golden spirits lets you decipher the fading logo of the local brewery. This is a bad time for a drink. In this Gonna rope is this. The can used for tying cargo to lorries. Like in okay. a circus. When the circus leaves town and they tie a black spotted giraffe to the wall of a carry pen. Starting to get a little tired with his voices, I have to say. <laughs> like in a circus, I'm just wearing black spotted giraffe. And uh, I can't cover that in a harbor. Like in a harbor? Yes, it looks like they use whatever was on hand, paying no attention to not incriminating themselves. Hmm. They sure wanted him to it's stay there. Really polyester. It's still reinforced. Damn. See, lines, this is where the wires run. I see rabbits for more than 20 strands. This makes hmm. getting him down much more problematic than I had assumed. Hmm. A I didn't even manage to get him up there. It's easier to use one way around. Watch the buckle tie into the belt, to the branch above. I think the last suit, the branch, then pull down the belt, buckle closes. It's what mm. I would do. Seems easier than climbing out there. Then starts pulling on it? Is that what he's implying? <coughs> I'm still approaching this as a lynching, yes. Motivated by the ongoing strike. You? No. You feel like it was something else. But what? I feel yes. like it was something else. It often is. This bell worries me. Yeah, I mean, it would be way too incriminating to be using the belt that could immediately tie you to the dock workers. The hmm. cadaver hangs from the cargo belt, limbs limp and torso covered in tattoos. Okay, inspect the tattoos. Web of blue line stretches across the torso. From the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Each I don't like these seven dollar. Okay, okay, fuck you. Marked by stars. It's about gold in my mind be marked by. And heartbreak. Sounds about right. Alcohol and heartbreak. <laughs> yep, that's me, alright. The hopeless romantic alcohol. <laughs> suddenly. It'll be riddled. The K with is creeping code. on the tattoo. I want to do that, most but of the this blocking that's holding it has darkened. Now it disintegrates slowly, letting out a stink. Hmm. <sighs> this is a national pattern. Of. If anything, it reminds me of religious illumination, 
last or penultimate century. Mm. Men who live harsh lives often turn to innocent worship. But which one? I see no trace of a humanoid figure. Well, I mean, God can be a non-humanoid figure. It can be a blob of some sort. It can be very abstract, I think. The pattern does not stir patriotic or religious sentiment in you. What it does is speak to the wounded, limping animal. The male, hmm. in particular. Unable to communicate in anything more than grunts. It's impossible to tell if its advice is right or wrong. So am I. Who is this up the game? He takes a thin what is he doing? Milled aluminium from his coat pocket and pulls it open. Sounds like a sword being unsheathed. Hmm. A small lens appears. Some sort of camera. <clears throat> Let the lieutenant work. What the fuck is that? Shut the I fuck up! Camera. And clicks them into place to the set of the appar appar apparatus. A thin this slot shines. The first time he openly acknowledges the kid's existence. Hmm. I have only two ampoules, so nobody move. I don't want to waste one. A sound, a shrill flash, followed by the breaking of a small ampoule of glass. You see streams of color pour onto the thick, glossy piece of paper, rolling out. Damn. In case we need it. Let me call a perfect copy to the message to chest. Hmm. Yes. Cool machine. It is pretty cool, isn't it? Ah, he's warming up to us. It contains insight to the victim's person. By his build, I'd say this was a man of physical violence. The story he wanted his body to tell was important to him. It is his letter. To us. Someone should decipher it. We'll need to show it around. Nah, I will not ask for it. I'll let, let the lieutenant Here, keep it. Souvenir. Ah, he gave it to me. Okay. Don't lose the it. glossy eyed corpse looks by. Will do. His mouth mute and his skin as colorful as the chemical rainbow on the photo paper. Teeming with opportunistic organisms. You've acquired an interactable item. Investigate this item further by going to the interact tab in your inventory. All right. Let's look him in the eyes. Eye. Are milky white and blind to the world, protruding comically. Dark brown okay, hair white. grows on his head. His face Dark is brown. ready to explode. From the organic process underneath the curdled meat, there is an expression, not carried on his features, but below, inside, an expression of pleasure. This man was experiencing joy at the moment of his death. Hmm. Tell me, who are you, dead man? I'm gone. Ooh. Ooh, we're talking to the dead body. I can see you're gone, but who are you? I'm a joke. Look at me. You are now, killer. but who are you? Ah. A motherfucker and a killer. Takes okay. one to no one. I have another no question for you. Cobo. Cobo. Where have you gone? Now, what is happening? Do you mean? I'm talking it's to the you. the power of your... Ah. Imagination. <laughs> Frothy liquid starts bubbling on his lips. Sorry. Yeah, man! Don't be crazy! <laughs> Inanimate objects and dead people can't really talk to you. Your wild imagination is doing this. Ask some more of those questions you love so much. I'm wary that we might lose our sanity by doing this. <laughs> well. 
Why were you feeling pleasure Maybe when you I died? My rocks off. Rocks off. I mean, hey, takes one to no one. <laughs> nuts, nuts, wink, wink. <laughs> um, do you have to speak like that? Okay, what dialect is that anyway? So you're feeling sexual arousal when they were hanging. Do I look like an erotic auto asphyxiation type to you, Captain yes. Copadromo? I feel we are drifting away. Fixating on sexuality again. Let's go with a simpler <laughs> question. Oopsie daisy. Where have you gone? Into the wild pale yonder. Where in is that? The past, way out in the west. I hate you. You're thinking you're boring. Do I remind you of someone? Baby effective with Har Harlequin. You sure got out of that one. Coppellini. <laughs> Enough. Later, Coppo. Amuse yourself with my frank manners and my memento mori features. If possible, also, see me in your dreams. Oh, that's a good one. It's going to take a Let step back. Your eyes, the monster before you blurs into a violent mess of green and pink. Only the Observe. lower extremities are pink with a dash of blue. His fatted hands, thighs, and his neck, just above the noose. The rest of the corpse appears dark green in the cold spring air. The cadaver Stop, your eyes. twists on the cargo belt, his torso covered in tattoos and extremities blotched pink and blue. Hmm. Let's ask again. Of course. You have questions, don't you? The power of your immense comeback. Never mind. So how do we get him down? The preliminary examination of the cadaver. We might miss some of these things once he's done. Hmm. This I think we're done. The first belt presents a unique challenge. I brought chain cutters, but I don't see a good angle of approach to the belt. What's with these skill points thing, anyway? Right. How many skill points do we have? If we have one, which one should we level up then? Level up our logic, I guess. Let's try that. We have no skill points. Okay. How does one get skill points? Okay, let's do that. Chain cutters. One point two meters up. Neither one of us can reach the belt without assistance, and even if we do. There's the question of cutting it. Maybe we can ask her from the harbor. I'm gonna buy this and have another look at him. Uh, someone else? You mean like yeah, someone else? The police? I shouldn't have asked that. Should have asked something else. Shit. Um. Yes, exactly. Call the police. We're the police, you dumb fuck. Sadly, you have a point yes. there. <laughs> the whole RCM is out there right now, doing the exact same thing we are. Are we? I know it's hard, okay. but I assure you, the others won't come to help us. And we have a growing sanitary concern here. We need to get him mm. down fast. Climb up there. Just saw the branch. Saw the branch. Yeah, we could use the kiss ladder on the side of the tree. I don't trust that ladder. The assailants didn't use it. It's rotten and less sturdy than it looks. Mm, and I don't good see point. a good way up there. Honestly, I prefer a non acrobatic solution to this. There has yeah, to it be seems a dangerous. Way. 
with less falling down of trees. I was really That's on the harbor. The Union appeared to be suspect in this case. Confirm. True. It's unsafe. Yeah, wait, let's reconsider. What other options? The corpse twists on the belt like chicken on a skewer. Yeah, you can shoot him down. Yeah, it might ricochet though. Yes, the buckle, where it ties the cargo belt to the tree. If the shot hits that, then there might be a small chance to release the belt. Will you do it then, Kim? Are you a good shot? I don't think I am. Yeah, now we're talking. Entertain a Kuno with some shit. Oh, shut the fuck up. The pigs will miss Kuno. The lieutenant is undecided. On one hand, he wants to shoot some gun. On the other, it's an awfully stupid idea. Pluton, it has bad idea. Wait, let me let me try. I'll take the shot, Lieutenant. Off. Take it. Take yeah. Take the shot. Silence. Shut up. With his elbow sharp, the lieutenant unzips his jacket and produces a lightweight <laughs> firearm. He drops a paper Ooh. in the barrel, separates the scouring stick, and gives the cartridge five tucks. Let's go. He then steps back and assumes the fellow's stess position, taking aim. The corner of his eye twitches. His finger is on the trigger. Let's say nothing. Let's say nothing. The kid's voice is drowned in a shrill blast that echoes off the walls of the surrounding tenements. A cloud of smoke okay. slowly parts in the air as the lieutenant steps back and says to himself, God damn it. God. He feels bad about okay. It. About his eyes mostly. Just having bad eyesight. Probably from a young age. Whatever you do, do not do console not him. console him. <laughs> True. Kuno could have hit it easy, but then Kuno's not fucking handicapped, is he? Try again, maybe? No. We are lucky as it is. We didn't break anything, and the victim remains uncompromised. Okay. Any more mistakes could put us in an unfortunate position with the locals. We have eyes on us. I didn't do us any favors with that. I have to what say, the? it's beginning to look unlikely we can get him down without assistance. I can try to shoot him it's down myself. It is. Us shooting firearms like punks here. Go ahead, I'm not stopping you. Just don't hit I'm gonna need your gun <laughs> for this. One gun. Oops. This Oops. is the sorriest pair of pigs Kuno's ever seen. Officer, why do we only have one gun? That is right, told you more I didn't have my than the badge. You need to contact your station about it as soon as possible. Try not to lose this one, please. We're I won't. A good start. This missing gun business is making your hand tremble. Yeah, take, take the gun. Take it and shoot yourself in the mouth. The cold Feel the weight first. Brake light and gun metal is surprisingly light. Must be methodical. Your fingers fit right through the guard, instinctively resting on the trigger. The All right. I swear to God, these fucking kids! <laughs> I want to kill them <laughs> so badly. Kuno is silent. Aggression gathers in the air. The mm. trigger feels delicate and ready to break under your finger. The buckle comes Point into it. focus in your sights. You stand with your feet planted firmly in the ground and your left hand supporting your gun arm. Why don't you just shoot yourself in your mouth? At least you won't miss. Ooh, we have a low chance. Do it! Set me free! You feel
feel as though it would be dangerous to set this <laughs> free to roam about the cosmos. Where's the cosmos? Do it! Fuck you, little shit. Intense shit, copper. Fuck! Can't wait his gun! It wasn't intense, it was pathetic! Close my eyes first. Narrows. The branch slowly moves, becoming entirely two-dimensional. The metal buckle glimmers, catching the morning light. As you wait, your breathing slows down. <sighs> Some mosquito-like organism buzzes in your peripheral. Very zen. Look, he's crying. You gonna cry now, fucking faggoty? Take it very slowly, nice and easy. Fuck. A plume of smoke erupts from the barrel. Your hand goes numb from the explosion. You missed the belt, but hit the corpse straight in the chest. Bits Lamau. of the cage protrude from the skin. No blood, only a- Oh my God, he's gonna fucking cry, I knew it! Are you? Because it sort of feels like you are. Please don't. Please cry. don't cry. <laughs> Start crying. You're sensitive. Just give the gun back to Kim. What now? We try something else. Oh my yeah. god, what a fucking boring cop. <laughs> nice shot though. Fucked him off good. Actually, it was. Kuno just said that because he felt sorry for you, pig. It's not your fault you can't shoot. It's your pig hands. Uh, pigs don't have hands. They have like. Fuck. Kuno has hands. Jesus Christ. Kuno can shoot that shit down for you. Murder. Kill. Massacre. <laughs> Bludgeon. Blood. Stab. Whatever, Jesus. Uh, no, Kuno. If I can't shoot him down, Pops no one will. Because he fucked that corpse up, Kuno. What a fucking caterpillar! Caterpillar. Still need to get him down somehow. The bad way. How? The way I didn't want us to. By asking the harbor for help. Yeah, they it would seem so. The men. If they put him up there, they can take him down too. Let's get to it then. How do we get From inside the, the harbor? By negotiating or fighting. I'm unenthusiastic about fighting. Or we can try to find some secret third path. It's an ugly third path, path, you say? To the gates. Let's fight, I say. Let's get to it then. Auto save. Yes, finally. All right. Cool. It's been one hour and 45 minutes. Holy shit. Um, it's slowly picking up traction, I have to say. I want to kill those kids so badly now. <laughs> don't clip me on that, but yeah, don't quote me on that. Jeez. But in any case. Yep, this is Disco Elysium. Um, first chapter or so or something, I don't know. We woke up super hungover. I think I made some mistakes with the dialogue choices. Um, and it seems that I made uh, an interesting choice by choosing the sensitive path. But, um, yeah. So there's the dead body. The dead body has armor on it. Armor on them, somehow. Expensive one at that as well. Which the harborman may, might have taken the rest, so. The clock is ticking. I wonder if that has any implication. Hmm. There are hand symbols on it. I don't know what it means. But oh well. No more points, I imagine. So, it's fine. But yeah. That is all for me for now. Uh, I guess the next, the next episode is going to be me trying... Us getting to the harbor. And trying to get them to help us out with the dead body. 
shouldn't have said that I, I kept the body up for three days. That's that's an oof on my part. But yeah, it does make more of an interesting introduction, I suppose. So, all right. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if I miss out on anything. As always, leave a comment down below, like and subscribe and all that. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.